everyone, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I have a Divine Mask and Twin Flame read, and I have 12 cards for the 12 signs afterward. And I'm going to get into it. I did watch, I watched uh, In Search of Fellini last night, and I, and I loved it actually. So if you are looking for a good movie to watch, I thought that was really cool. It's very deep. And it goes into a place you never thought it would go. So I like that. And there's definite, definitely a message in it for us. Having to do with going to the deepest, darkest places in order to come back to get to where you're supposed to be. Like even if you don't know why you're there and Spirit's connecting with thee. The other message today is to be or not to be. And that will come up in the read. And then as I started my meditation last night, I saw the Liberty Bell. So Freedom Rings came up when I when I thought of that just now. And we'll see what else comes up around that. Um, I also pulled some cards. The Thief and the Fake Person cards keep coming up all week. And they just came up again around the Liberty Bell and Freedom Rings. The freedom to be a thief. I guess if that's your authentic personality. But it's also uh, the to be or not to be today has to do with discernment. Are you going to fall into the same old traps that you used to fall into and be your inauthentic self or are you gonna are you gonna be your authentic self and not go and or follow where you should fear to tread you know being your authentic self knowing what's good for you what feels good to you if it doesn't feel good or if they're leading you in a direction that isn't comfortable for you you know you need to say no and not go for that excitement and stuff, especially after the read today. It's definitely confirming um, you need discernment this weekend for sure. There's definitely death coming up as well. There might be funerals that people are going to. So it could be as simple as something like that. It might not even be some, somebody necessarily that you're really close to, but the funerals are definitely coming up. And what else was here? Well, I woke up at 717 this morning. And then I cut the Syrian Starseed deck at 818. It was, all the cards came out very red and amber. I was getting mossy, red, amber, and mossy kind of colors, which was unusual. The read was done at 840 to 41. 40 is the Page of Cups, and 41 is the Ace of Cups. So the Page of Cups and the Ace of Cups, and then the Eight of the Strength and the Leo and the Ego energy coming up today, and the Eye of the Tiger. The day is the four of the, the emperor, and it adds up to the 25 today, which is the knight of wands. So it's very masculine energy today and about get, getting moving physically and very much in your masculine energy, taking control over your life. So for me, I was cleaning, I was cleaning my house for the past couple hours. So um, just catching up, I was, and definitely in the read will come up. It was more like going within to do things in a practical way, so more busy work at home as opposed to outwardly, although you can still be out and about doing kids kids stuff and all that kind of thing. So those are the energies, are very masculine, physically oriented. Uh, the read done at, at 8.40 to 41 this morning uh, was all about financial discipline, rebirth, and physical activity. So here we are with the physical activity again. The Major Arcana, where the Strength card, the Guidance card, which is like the Hierophant, and then after the read, the Wheel, or the Great Wheel in this deck, came up, as well as Ascension, which is like the World. There were two Cups, two Swords, two Wands, and three Pentacles. So it's almost, it's perfectly distributed. There's, a, there's one more Pentacle, so more practical and work energies today. It doesn't have to be about money, though. It's just about practicalities and energy how you use your energy, your money, your time, your resources, that kind of thing. But otherwise it was two, 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 so very even. And then the court cards were the Knight of Cups, which is the underlying energy today, the Queen of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. So two knights and whatever multiple knights come up, um, for me it's significant for two nights from now. So today's the fourth or fifth, so we'd end up on the sixth. The, um, September 6th may be significant as far as these two knights here. The numbers that came up in the code line Today we're 45 and 5, so we, it wasn't just a single digit today, but it really was about that 5 because it adds up to 50, so it's still 5. 
So it's all about that change and expansion, but the 50 is about emotional fulfillment, that happy family, that ideal family life. 45 has to do with grief. And then that parallels what I brought up first today was about the movie in search of Fellini and in falling to the depths of despair in order to find your like ultimate emotional happiness. So 50 is that five of expansion, competition, conflict, um, all of those kinds of energies, but supported by the zero, which is more source energy, more source God support. The message here today was to be or not to be. It was definitely coming up from the code line today. And it, it revolved around the five of crystals, which is that abandonment, destitution, homelessness, and um, starvation issues, feeling in exile outside the crowd, not a part of everything. Um, four nights were also coming up. So four nights from now would then land on the eighth. So the sixth and the eighth, nine, six, nine, eight. And then of course, nine, nine is, a, is an important portal always for us. So, in seeking expansion, or the Hierophant comes up with number five as well, and being the commitment, the marriage, the Taurus energy, um, persistent, but anything that you're, that, that you're committed to, whether it's yourself or the old way of doing things, religion, the establishment, whatever it is, those kind of energies are coming up, revolving around the five of crystals, which has to do with abandonment. So the person left out of those, of those commitments that other people have, whether it's society or church, or even yourself, like, like abandoning yourself. The um, eating was coming up, but also that was coming up in French, the French to be was coming up, so et was coming. Up. and then um, the divine feminine energy so again this is for the divine masculine so it was referencing to the masculine again about the divine feminine to be in your divine feminine is good for when you're in exile to see the key to, to see the I am presence the five the freedom the hierophant and the change within the rebirth the physical activity and the financial discipline to be or not to be that is the question and then VAD test was coming up too. VAD test so I don't know if that has to do with VAT test with a T as well, because sometimes it's just about the sound. Um, four to five crystals or cry stalls, maybe dealing with people or kids who are whining. To save or not to save. To seek freedom. Freedom from cry stalls. To see the keys in the change, that the change is what makes you happy, right? Um, and to be that knight for yourself and others to walk into that good night, to find yourself and always be at home with yourself. So allow yourself freedom, freedom rings, the Liberty Bell, that everything's imperfect. The Liberty Bell has a crack in it. So I think that's another message here coming up. It's not about being perfect. It's about expanding and having fun and always looking for new perspectives new ways of seeing things, new way of doing things, new way of enjoying yourself, new, new ways of showing love. So just again, all about change. So we start out the read with the Knight of Cups. Put this deck down, it's very slippery, the cards always fall down. So the underlying energy is the Knight of Cups here. And the other ones underneath here, this is the Eight of Orbs or Swords, the Ten of Cups or Chalices in this deck, and then the Seven of Crystals or Seven of Pentacles. So the Knight of Cups was upright, by the way. So it's always nice when the Knight of Cups is upright. The Eight of or Swords was upright as well. That's just an imprisonment energy. The Ten of Cups being that emotional fulfillment, or it could be the Sham Fam. And then the Seven of Crystals reversed, which is, you know, enough time reaping rewards. Now it's time to implement a new plan. How do you want to spend your money, your time, and your energy? So the Knight of Love, the prisoner of emotional fulfillment and implementing a plan Dysfunctional family weakness, or ego or Leo out of control, loss of family or family member, uh, money or family legacy. So healing and forgiving is also coming up and someone may just be giving love to a weak family member who's struggling physically. 
The Hierophant comes up, which is Taurus energy. Fantasizing or married or not allowed to fantasize because they're married. And the Knight of Pentacles loyal servant is juggling, performing, doing the balancing act regarding a negative past or difficult children or the past returning, offering something healthy as a surprise to a past love, lovebirds standing by, aromatic meal or herbs served or offered on a heart platter, plus dessert on the floor or in the park, socks in the tree. The fall is here. It's chilly and cuddly, a bent knee, high knee, and high knee always comes up for that. So, you know, you could be talking to your kids, they're cute little high knee, that kind of stuff. And then thigh high is coming up as well as someone's leg in a cast. So they're, it's not about a slit in a dress, but rather somebody's pants were cut open because they had to get a cast put on. Hand and knee bend, 90 degree ang angles, but ankle came up. So again, ankles are coming up. S something about the square today, hard on the joints and knees and hands especially. Walk heel toe, stretch your feet, go on your tippy toes to reach further. Memories light the corners of my mind. Misty watercolored memories, so the way we were is coming up here, of the way we were. And I was getting major connection when that came up. Uh, memories may be beautiful and yet, what's too painful to remember, we simply choose to forget. So it's silly to look back because then we just get reminded of the painful things. So when you're being present, you know, why do you want to put yourself in a negative state unless you're doing shadow work and clearing that stuff, having it come up so that you can then release it. But remember that when you think back at what you're losing, you, you're, you're never losing exactly what you think you're losing now. I mean, you forget what you went through. You forget all the moments that, that you went through to get to that place. So 6, 2, and then 7, V were coming up. Um, conflict openly, expanding upward with burdens. The rainbow bridge over the Queen of Cups reversed because she's sad, you know, taking moments to look back at memories. A quest for the impossible dream, the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Cups, the burden and the emotional fulfillment or the sham fam. Is it a family that looks good on the outside, but that's not really what it is. And the Queen of Cups is sad and left crying or just someone who's over emotional or manipulative, remembering how hard it was physically to raise a family and yet happy, hard labor and tears of joy, juggling sadness and manipulation, conflict, competition, fighting, expansion, the fight for the happy family, look, remember the status, but now drained and sick, overexposed, no peace of mind and stuck in emotions, painting a pretty picture of only the sunny times to make it look better than it actually was. Exposing bareback, naked and free. And this was at 925, and that's the Knight of Wands and the Hermit. Um, so bareback and naked and free, maybe going overboard, a little extreme, falling off a horse and a boat overturned, never getting back on to try again. So somebody definitely fell off a horse and refused to, to get back on. And that then applies to anything that you fail at, refusing after trying once and failing, refusing to get back on the horse, being too stubborn. Um, also Taurus, Libra, and Leo were coming up here and the Knights of the Round Table and the underlying energies. But here's the stubbornness, high seas, and then I was getting high C's, right? So there's a lot of emotions, but also high C's, meaning poor grades or average grades. Focusing on the defects and the deficiencies, what's wrong with our bodies, the self-consciousness. And again, with the overturned boat, that could reference to that something's been overturned, a decision, um, of, it could be a judgment or something at home, but something was overturned or something got canceled. That's coming up again. Uh, the relationship change comes up for the Romance Angels, which is number 56, which is the Two of Swords, being in your knowing. And underneath that is the Abundance card of the 88. The two twins, both balanced at center point, doing the dance within of the masculine and feminine, standing side by side in union. The abundance of the dance coming together. Now, the, the Two of Swords, I would say, is being in your knowing, but it also can be people 
pretending not to know, right? They're not using their intuition, so they're looking for more information so they don't have to go within. The Knight of Pentacles reversed is refusing to move forward or work or is unable, yet destined either way, and the Page of Pentacles and Knight of Wands prior to new life or a new infusion of money, one is studious and green and natural with two gold feathers in their cap, the other passionate and physical like a female Robin Hood, carrier of the flame, the light, the student looking at peacock like they're from another dimension, teal, green, yellows, and gray with flowers in their hair, staring each other down, not sure why he's interested or curious about her, the eyeball when he's already got hot mama. However, the Knight of Wands is bossy, aggressive, and always on the move. Or is this two personas of the same person? Or who should he be for the peacock he sees? Or two kids, one good student and curious about the peacock, but the Knight of Wands is busy doing their own thing. Money and new life held back from them, yet both doing well and upright here. Tiptoe through the tulips comes up, also through the woods. The bent knee and the pointed toe, a perfect match, a two-man horse or a female with fleur-de-lis red dress to the nines with a slit up to their ears exposing knees, ankles, and feet, especially the right one or the masculine one. Uh, and also then footsie under the tablecloth or Civil War reenactment, horseback riding, and some, well, someone saying about that, get on that horse, what are you, crazy? So again, it's referencing getting back on that horse after you've failed something. I'm not doing that ever again. Or that, what are you, crazy, because it costs too much. Or a teen student with a ladybird, eyes of blue, green, and yellow, pink flower in their hair, seeing each other and not knowing what to make of it, high top, balcony, Birkins, and eclectic. Do they go together? Two taking riding lessons or dance lessons, perhaps. A mongoose above, worried um, that a female instructor is a flamethrower and well armored. So someone might not want to take class with her. Frog's legs and plumes and multicolored tiles, green and gold, a strange bird turns into Robin Hood, keeper of the forest through the trees. The Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands destiny for, or are destined for greatness. The Knight of Pentacles stubborn and out of funds. The odd one out, the unicorn of the family. Green like the page, but not book smart like them. More practical smarts, loyal and persistent, but can get paralyzed with fear at times. The Knight of Cups prior to a new life, letting go of memories or wallowing in self-pity and crying or sulking or stuck in their emotions without peace. And then relationship change comes up. So that was at 954, which again is the Hermit, and then 54 is the Page of Swords, which has to do with messages. Make the effort comes up for the masculine, and beneath that was past life relationship. And then, the, then we get into the recent past, which was the Guidance card, which is the Hierophant. So before I do that, I'm gonna show you the cards but also I'm gonna tell you the, the, um, the, the uh, different signs and the uh, court cards as well. But also right at this point with the Hierophant came up font, and what does that mean? So P-H-A-N-T. So urban-wise, it's a state of fat, the hot, tempting, cool person and fat like an elephant. Also fat came up, or font came up like um, a lifestyle brand for cannabis enthusiasts, and there's a vape pen called that. Also, fan or font comes up as a logging tool, software that powers data from sparkfun.com. It's called NPM. And then, of course, elephant. Um, so, font comes from, or elephant comes from elephas, which is Latin, and then in the Greek, elephantos, probably from the Phoenician language. So, here comes the phoenix rising. So what I was just getting to more, I was just getting to more of the uh, font part and what it means, but the, when we get it broken down, the different definitions it comes up as are to show someone that shows or to shine, like elephant or hierophant. 
And then Eliphant always reminds me of the, the Elohim. So to shine your light, to bring to light, to cause to appear. And then of course the L is the feminine in French. Um, and then ment was coming up, uh, like Ellie ment, M-E-N-T, which is concrete result, object, action, or resulting, um, the resulting state, like abridgment or refreshment. Um, from the free dictionary, capable of high attainments as intellectual and moral being. So the, the signs that were upright and reversed today were Virgo, Scorpio, uh, Cancer, Sagittarius, and, and Pisces. Libra was just reversed and so is Leo. Aquarius was reversed as well. Actually, Aquarius was both directions because the star card was actually upright today. Uh, Gemini was reversed. And Capricorn was reversed. Taurus was upright. And Aries was reversed. So the only one that was all upright was Taurus today. So of the aces, the Ace of Wands and Ace of Swords were upright, the other two reversed. All the kings and queens were reversed in this read today. All the kids, mostly, were upright except for the swords. So the Knight of Swords and Page of Swords were reversed. All the other knights and pages were upright. All the kings and queens reversed. So the, pig, the pigs, pigs in space. The kids are doing great today, but the adults are not. So they're probably struggling with all the new stuff they have to get for school. And then uh, the tens, the Ten of Wands and Ten of Cups were upright, the other two reversed. The Nines were all reversed, except for the Nine of Swords, which was upright, which that's difficult either way. So um, Nine of Wands, so there was a surrender though with the, the Wounded Warrior. Of the Fives, the only one that was reversed of the Fives was the Five of Swords. So the war ending, someone maybe wanting to drop their swords, but the other ones are still up. So the battles are on, or again, that could just be expansion and competition. Um, the Five of Cups is grief and those issues, and then the Five of, of Pentacles, which is that abandonment and destitution and, you know, homelessness issues. So those are still coming up. So I'm going to show you the cards before I go on. So we have the, the Knight of Cups is there with that big tidal wave. The Recent Passes the Guidance card. Um, underlying energies, which you can't see, is that Queen of Swords energy. She is reversed. Like I said, all the queens and kings are reversed today. The Strength card is in the middle, which is actually the Eye of the Tiger. See it? Peeking through. And then we have the Five of Crystals there as the challenge. Uh, the other underlying energies. And then what's crowning is that Seven of Wands or Flames here, which is very much about rising up from the flames, like the Phoenix. As we scroll across here and go to the near future, energy is the Seeker of Flames. And so that page is upright with the mass, mass void, the burning desire, but the desire is being hidden there. The mass, the mass is seeing himself as the Six of Pentacles or Six of Crystals there, but it's reversed. So there's an imbalance here, or and we'll get into that in a minute. And then around that is the, what I see is the masculine's heart, the Four of Crystals, the bat cave. And you see him. Looks like he's lit up inside there. It looks like a crystal cave, you know, or a spa. So then we have the five of chalices or five of cups as the blocks he needs to clear. So grief and things like that, needing to let go of the fear in the past. And then we end up with the knight of swords, which is the only knight that's reversed today. So we have the king of pentacles above that, which is reversed, the wheel of fortune card above that, and then the world all reversed. And then ends up there on the seven of swords reversed which is being defenseless to the energies coming in. Uh, just a quick peek at the 12 card read. Those up top are the underlying energies, which I'll get to when I get there. It starts with Aries to the left and goes down to Pisces all the way to the right. And then I have some extra cards here that I pull for everybody. And these are the extra cards from the clarifications in the read. So now we get to the rest of the read and then we'll get into the 12 cards. Okay, so with the Hierophant there in the recent past, holding on loosely, grounding, saving, being moderate, the King of Cups reversed, third party perhaps, or gossip or overindulgences, 
in spreading the word, negative self-talk, ADD, autism, bipolar, someone spying. The king of cups reversed is emotionally detached or could be manipulative or over emotional or could be an alcoholic. Married, Taurus, or committed to self, religion, establishment, tradition, societal norms, the queen of swords reversed, powerless, independent, starting over and not settling in their knowing. The hermit doing physical work of activities at home or with kids, uh, the knight of wands and the knight of pentacles. Practical and busy work, housework, Taurus Virgo energies here. The queen of swords reverse could be overspending due to boredom and a need to know more within and about actions to take, physical and practical actions. After all four knights represented in the underlying energies of the recent past, we had, so all four knights came up in the underlying energies just there. So that was important to know because there's a lot of action there. So, and a lot of that has to do with the kids going back to school because it's, you know, that doesn't happen. It only happens once a year, right? So the knight of swords reversed is the one knight that's more present today, but it's the only one that's reversed as well. The foundation is the queen of swords reversed, the bold move to come together at work, co-create, of a small church service or some kind of small honoring or a move or travel plans don't go as well as expected or they go slow or there's grief, sadness, loss, regret, guilt and shame, fear of letting go and walking away and within to find emotional fulfillment, that missing piece. The queen of swords reversed is feeling weak. It could be a Leo or someone who's out of control or just ego issues, defenseless to energies and attacks or too many coming at them at once. Pisces or Cancer may feel trapped or imprisoned by a move, travel, or car payments, perhaps. The Divine Masculine going to work but not feeling it today, sad and despondent, or the Queen of Swords reversed is. Uh, could be, and that could be someone the Masculine's thinking about at work, and that's why they're, they're feeling sad and depressed. Um, the past and memories coming up about a love offer, and birds were tweeting, why do birds suddenly appears so that's just coming up now um at 10 47 to 48 which is the seven of cups and the eight of cups so again it's synchronicities and the tweeting birds are, are a guidance so that was coming up as long as well as the eight of cups which is that walking away and going within so get your guidance and then process it past and the memories coming up about a love offer and then processing this information and then centrally is that weak Leo energy. It could be Sagittarius too, or Aries actually, because we have the strength card, but it's a tiger. So for me, it's not just Leo. It could be any of the fire signs. Um, drained or sick with the truth on the table about being dumped, overwhelmed, or pushed to your emotional limits, or just crying all the time, or one big cry, or someone's peeing or vomiting all the time, or just a lot, or the truth makes you want to throw up. And that was at 1052. 10 is the Wheel of Fortune, 52 is that Queen of Swords. So as someone who's either very sad or very sick, um, but the Scrooge and the Empress clinging and expectant. So some Empress who is, you know, tight with their money or just Scroogey or maybe she's just mean, um, but she's coming, she's coming up as clinging and expectant or an empress caring for a sick friend. I mean, she is upright, so she is the empress, but you know, she might be a difficult boss if she's all powerful, right? So caring for a sick friend or, cl or clinging to being the savior, right? Wanting to be the friend who always takes care of the sick. Um, and that makes the other person a victim, so it automatically puts them into victim mentality. Uh, being dumped, the truth, surgery or radiation, making someone sick, dumping syndrome and sundowning as well. Someone burned, but is the triumph worth it in the end? So especially too, if someone's going through chemo or radiation, they may not feel like it's worth it because they feel sick most of the time. Um, so is it really worth it in the end if feeling like this? The challenge being the five of pentacles and the abandonment, the exile, the destitution, feeling orphaned, so alone, cold and hungry, apart from the group, the crowd, not accepted for who you are, to be or not to be moving homes or ending marriage, or canceled party, wedding, or reunion. Suddenly an explosion, a move, a trauma, epiphanies, disappointment, a change, or change in health status, but this is all sudden, or a sudden death, or a sudden end of a relationship, sudden end of partnership, soulmate, or friend. 
complete and total, total, so some, some might be doting, but complete and total disconnect or the house coming down. Not seeing eye to eye, but perhaps some may be seeing face to face for the first time in a while with an opportunity or an invitation um, to see all angles of a situation. Uh, maybe an offer of a little bit of help or an invitation with a move or practical work needed. How to offer help to a sneaky person or one coming clean after the fact. There was no choice because now they got caught, they had to come clean. So it wasn't their choice. Would they ever have come clean if they didn't get caught? Stuck in their emotions, overboard, without a vest. No peace, poor judgment, bad decision, de deliberation too long, a default on a loan or commitment, losing a home or property or marriage or party or homeless and injured, left behind, cold and lonely. Going, going back to church, possibly to confess for someone who doesn't usually go anymore, or just committing to your higher self. Death, dark night, transition, complete transformation, expressing feelings, energetic exchange, a heated exchange, or quick movement back and forth, a change of either death of this, what I, I just explained, either death of this situation or dark night awakens to this, the energetic exchange or the expression of feelings. The Empress, the Queen of Swords reversed with the eye of the tiger, the space between, the caged animal, caged by two women, one clinging and greedy or tight with their money and the other won't be quiet or is suffering in silence or is mean and verbally abusive or negative self-talk or just not herself. Uh, Leo, actually double Leo is coming up and double Scorpio. So this is major energy here and double Taurus. So here again, we have the lion and the bull and the scorpion added there and Aquarius, all energies right here. The lion, tiger and bears, oh my, but I'm, add bulls and a double stinger and attitude to boot. Could be a sudden breakup with sudden marriage afterwards too. Defenseless, defenseless dumped or death and crying, overwhelmed in a bold move to move, travel, or ascend, or someone's at a funeral service, or celebration of life. Possible turnout wasn't what was expected. The King of Pentacles reversed in a turn down, slow down, or a turn of luck, depressed, or lost hope of a reunion after a breakup or third party gossip or overindulgences. No peace with the Queen, the King of Wands reversed, being sneaky with half truths or coming clean now, possibly at a funeral service, but definitely lots of sad people hugging or a reunion at a, of a sad event. So like, you know, like it's a reunion of 9-11 or something like that. Or a family reunion or class reunion that turned out to be a sad event that was unexpected. And this is at 11-16, so again, we have the tower with justice. So now crowning defenseless to energies, Pisces High Priestess, secret or intuitive abilities, insecure manipulation, or feeling they don't have the tools, and this is all at 1117 now, the star, right? Making your dreams come true, healing, and getting justice in the situation, that justice is happiness. Um, but someone doesn't feel they have the tools or what it takes, holding back harsh words, an announcement, or lashing out with their words. Justice, divorce, settlement, is final or Libra, Pisces, Virgo, or Gemini. Gemini or Libra may be drinking too much and lashing out at the high priestess or because of their secret connected to justice or Libra or third party or gossip clearly holding back money or new life. The King of Wands reversed and the Queen of Wands reversed. They're together, both reversed, settling out worlds upside down incomplete. The word getting around the word getting around the block, so people may be talking in the neighborhood that they're fighting or drinking um, and that a final decision is in. At a party or gathering, a breakup or a freak out or attack, defenseless to no love, tears, unhappiness, no satisfaction and not getting their wish. Resting in peace or getting um, quiet time or feeling like they're in a 5D prison or literally someone is in a coma and there's a gathering of friends and family at the hospital. Defenseless, unhappy with bold move between bulls. The King of Pentacles reversed, holding back money, time, and energy of a new life, playing ball perhaps, or 
or magnetizing gold coin, whether that's the Christ consciousness or saving money, surrendering to a message of love in a change of fate or a child gives up being mad at their parent and starts offering love. And so it doesn't have to be your parent, but it can be. Um, implementing a plan of surrender with loss of hope of the past, depressed, overindulging in memories and drinking too much, living in the past, now giving up the war, laying down swords, breaking up, apologizing. The king of swords reversed goes from three people to two people, holding back harsh truth or lies. Now without peace, there is no place to go. Soon as the page of wands, the masked boy with the burning flame. Oop, I gotta plug in before we do lose ya. Sorry about that. So soon the page of wands, masked boy with a burning flame, inspired by the past returning of a negative past, dumping all attachments that no longer serve him, disconnecting for an opportunity to be the student of energy or the gold coin, no peace in a commitment or marriage. There's jealousy, rage, or sudden explosions, impatience, losing their temper, spying, immaturity, verbal abuse, negative self-talk here. The Divine Masculine is the Six of Pentacles reversed, which is an imbalance situation. Um, maybe someone in debt, somebody was scammed, or somebody owes restitution. The Knight of Cups and Knight of Pentacles coming forward out of lack of affection or a breakup to offer help and love and support. Soldiers of Fortune. And again, Knights of the Round Table was coming up. Or is there no affection here? And they are just wanting something from you and know you're a sucker or a bleeding heart. Or these two scammed the Divine Masculine, pretending to be friends, but just lining up for more. Make sure, Divine Masculine, that you can discern the difference, especially this weekend. The worst may feel over and may feeling the bliss. Choosing the left or the new path and not settling. Or where his old lovers or young girls come out of the woodwork, offering parties and dark offerings. The Divine Masson must pass the test of discernment. And this is at 1149. So again, you know, it, it's, there's, it's definitely coming up this weekend as a test of discernment. Like you can get drawn into some really dark places if you allow yourself to, especially if there's deaths and a lot of breakups this weekend. All those people who want to just go out and drink and forget about their problems can get pulled into some really dangerous situations this weekend, okay? So don't go there. Be moderate this weekend. 1151 is justice and the king of swords. To not accept less than your worth, your authenticity for divine masculines. Attraction comes up in unrequited love very soon and wedding, which has to do with just that there's a, a marriage involved here. Around the divine masculine or how he's seen is the four of pentacles, the divine masculine's heart, the back cave, and it looks warm in there. The knight of wands rushing back to deception or to the new moon, or out till all hours or until dawn breaks, or just clearing the false light and taking advantage of a new moon timing to see the hermit with the light shining attention on going overboard. The one that's got your back or the multiples that want something from you. They're lining up, no doubt. Injustice, unfair to the queen of swords reversed, unable to control how you affect her. She will not fall victim this time, divine masculines. So make sure you choose wisely. Clear your blocks of grief, the fear of letting go, the fear of change, of guilt and shame. Let go of all of that. If you don't make the change, the universe will force your hand for those suffering at your hand or your energy. Take the lead to get the ball rolling. Know your power. Know who you are, man. Awakening of the Empress? Or is the Empress of big ego and sudden bad tempers and mean words and negative self-talk? Did awakened one or ego one inspire you to come clean or be sneaky? The physical um, activities came up, rebirth, as well as financial discipline, but even more so for the, for the Divine Masculine today is adventure and self-love to make sure you love yourself first by being authentic to you and not going along with the crowd. Sudden grief, sudden outbursts, pushed to your emotional limits. Be careful about friends tempting you to a three-way situation or an orgy perhaps 
and no love. This is not the weekend to take stupid risks or fall off the wagon. Getting real to awaken to true abundance. The wound of a tease and a cock block also coming up here. The knight of swords reversed, imbalanced, and holding back the truth, or in other words, lying. Now defenseless to attacks and forced to come out with it, but not of their own volition. Someone was scammed, bribed, or tried to play someone off to keep, or pay someone off to keep quiet. Breakups, indecision, no affection, no peace, as the King of Wands reversed comes clean after the third energy or sexuality is shoved in his face. So not before it comes out, but once it's out and in their face. Or also um, coming clean after the third energy or arousal or, some, or spontaneous orgasm. So someone might get embarrassed by the third energy. Or a new passion, but all of this now shoved in his face. So it's not coming out because they volunteered to, but all of a sudden it's being thrown in their face. Lacking faith, falling from grace, or falling on face. It's all up to the Divine Masculine. If he comes into his truth and his authentic self, then he's good to go. But all of these can ha all of these things can happen if he decides to choose not being in his truth and not being authentic to himself and not coming out with the truth, you know, continuing to live a lie. Lacking faith, falling from grace, or falling on face. It's your choice if you want to take the leap or not, to be or not to be. Temptations thrown in your path to test your faith in yourself. Walking the fine line with a snake at your heels or falling in love, what will it be? To be or not to be, that is the question. The King of Pentacles reversed in the aftermath or inspired to avoid disaster in change of fate incomplete world needs to be all wrapped up now healing getting your wish dreams come true suffering in silence pretending not to know the king of pentacles reversed may be coming up greedy here or just going through the loss of status and money or just ungrounded perhaps juggling the high vibration but this is coming up at 12 16 again so we have the tower again with the hangman showing the high vibe side of themselves, pretending, but then falling into a trap with this tower and the hanged man. And then we have the hanged man hanging out and then a tower event and then hanging out and the star card. Are you gonna fall into a trap or are you gonna fall into your dreams come true? Or the king of swords reverse lies or negative self-talk or verbal abuse. Giving up, surrendering to the emperor reversed, out of control, abuse of power, or ego death and surrender, which one? Defenseless to energy and attacks or no longer care what others say, do, and think because it only matters what you think of you. Stop the need to defend yourself, divine masculines. Allow the others to think their lies if they want. That's their wound, not yours. The Knight of Cups, offerer of love, to the Queen of Swords reversed, who could possibly be scamming him, taking him for all his worth, left in his heart, saving and grounding. The Hierophant commitment, Taurus, may be weak or sick, or Leo, ego, out of control, with the truth and triumph. Um, challenged by exile now, so someone who may have felt like they triumphed, you know, was it really a blessing? So the same kind of analogy as going through chemo or radiation, right? So is it worth is it worth the triumph if you feel really sick all the time? Uh, being in exile, is it worth being right or being arrogant if you get kicked out of the group? Or is it right to stand up for yourself even if you have to stand alone to do it? The Page of Wands grieving and defenseless to malicious attacks or verbal abuse, lies or announcements or messages held back of the King of Pentacles reversed, possibly in slow motion or in another world. The Knight of Cups prisoner or family, prisoner of the family strategy of commitment, like the family strategizing always to keep the Knight of Cups tied in. The Hierophant, the Taurus holding back money and or a new beginning. The Queen of Swords reversed is weak or out of control, defenseless to the energy, the attacks, or the crowds overwhelming them, 
So whether they're sick or just really um, grieving, okay? Or yeah, uh, it could be three different things. It could be someone who's really sick here, someone who's truly grieving, or someone who's truly lying, you know, and they're just a liar. That's they're just a chronic liar. They can't not lie. The challenge of being left out of a group or a crowd, being left behind, being in exile, cold and alone, scammed, imbalanced, drained of all life force, money, energy, and time, the page of wands inspired by the flame, the saving and grounding to be moderate, but feeling guilty for fear of change and having held back the harsh truth, or lies, or messages and announcements. Some may, some may have been held back or even blocked. The king of pentacles reversed, ungrounded or greedy, or loss of money and status in the downturn, slow down, inspired to another world where he doesn't have to care so much and can love himself. The fallen angel out of control in detox, looking or going back or living in the past, overworking, not working, or all aligning now and can now finally stop working, financially drained, powerless, or two females draining all his time and energy and money. One could be a sovereign independent who's actually dependent and the queen of pentacles reversed the older one or the parent of the sovereign. A great imbalance or debt or scam or restitution needing to be made. And that's at 1232, which is the hangman and the journey man. These six of wands. Okay. So then I did all the 12 signs and I'm just going to read what I wrote for them. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to clarify them all for you. The main female is coming up as the privileged lady or two separate people, a man thinking about one of them, but focused on a house. So of the 12 signs and the underlying energy, and this was at 1233, the hangman and the seven of wands. So standing up for yourself without being reactive, but the seven of wands in, this, in the read today was reversed. So feeling defenseless because the energies are so harsh or because people are attacking you or people are coming at you all at once, right? So you can't breathe. Or you have no way to speak up for yourself because it's too overwhelming. So the underlying energy for the 12 signs, it comes up, the underlying energy was that main, was the main uh, female. And I'm gonna turn it in a second, but. So this is the underlying energy from the Rider weight, which is the Five of Swords guy. But that's the fifth card down. The underlying energy from the uh, Kipper deck is the main female. So there's an enemy or somebody at war with themselves, standing their truth adamantly after left abandoned or taking others down before they get you. The King of Cups, the Emperor reversed, and the Devil waving, and loss of hope and depression here. Extremes of unconditional love, and then the Devil's work. The Emperor out of control, abuse of power, and then the victims in depression, the victims of those people. No betweens at this time. The fire offering message of love, the fire signs offering messages of love to the defensive ones, the depressed, who are prepared and on guard, you know, defending themselves. The earth energies of the empress, abundant without cares, ignoring the devil. The air is too windy, aggravating the emperor or the fire energies, yet completes their world. Or the sealed divine feminine is impervious to the effects of their abusers. The water unconditionally loving with the king of cups. The queen of swords, who's upright here, talking to the king of pentacles about it. So they could be to the two in the reed but they're both upright here. Uh, loving words of advice from the Queen of Swords to the King of Pentacles can take it or leave it, whatever resonates. The King of Pentacles dealing with a house or is the house and the house always wins. The tower affecting the Taurus the most directly with, a, with expectations and the devil over her or him and Scorpio as well. Gemini's letting go and Aries making health a priority and buying a health plan or spending money on health issues because they have poor health. Cancer may um, have 
scammed in order to get a fortune or has a reverse in for fortune or is helping those in need. Leo grounded and maturing. Where's that right there? They're working hard. Oh, it's nurturing, the queen of pentacles. So Leo is grounded and nurturing, working hard, but balanced and taking care of duties. You know, kind of like Virgo energy in Leo today. Or covering for someone who's out depressed. Or depressed Leo, but doesn't show it at work. The Virgo is coming up with negative self-talk or the devil in the details or gossip around them. Um, could be slander with the devil regarding lovers, breakup or lack of affection. Vacillating or just so into each other, you get nervous just thinking about it. Libra's coming up as um, receiving an inheritance or receives or gives a heartfelt gift or heartbreak or separation is a blessing in disguise or love rained on me. Heaven blessed, an offering toward Virgo or Capricorn and then Scorpio is unhappy family or an end of an emotional cycle and an, unexpe an unexpected income comes in, a token of love perhaps or appreciation, perhaps a tip or bonus at work. Sagittarius is the king of wands, man of passion, but depressed or sad about a death or loss of hope, but not showing it. Capricorn is the hierophant, uh, committed and in power over all the earth signs, or just Taurus person, all, un all embracing changes with Taurus and Capricorn. So it could be something, whatever changes are between the Taurus and Capricorn. Sudden changes between Taurus and Capricorn with Scorpio involved too. And then Aquarius is a sneaky little shit, is coming up as a wealthy sneaky little shit, or coming clean about, or coming clean to an emperor reversed, or the emperor reversed is him. Pisces is in cancer energy, a bold move or travel to get out of prison to be love. So that's a mental prison. Or they're visiting a prisoner, or in prison themselves, literally, or arrested or just a speeding ticket, or someone very loving in conversation and talking about a past arrest or prison experience. So someone not being judgmental, maybe someone expecting others to judge them, but they didn't, they were actually very loving. So let's get into clarifying these cards here. All right, so we have, this is the Kipper deck, and then we have the Rider weight big deck, and then the mini here, okay? So this is the card that came out at the end along, this is the last card for the end of the read is the King of Pentacles and the house. So that definitely comes up within the read, um, but it's upright now. So everything in the read was reversed, but a lot of the characters when I did the read afterward are now upright. So that's good. So there could have been, you know, a funeral in the morning. So that is why everybody was reversed. And now, you know, people are getting past that and going back to their daily lives. Something like that. Or just someone's in the hospital or somebody broke something or, you know, those kind of energies. So we're gonna clarify more though. So we go from the, um, the, the person at war, so it can be the enemy, the person in fear, that's why they're standing in their truth so adamantly to make sure they get others before they get them, or just standing in their truth, allowing others to walk away if they don't like it, or just at war, at war, at war with themselves. But then we go to the King of Cups after that. So maybe standing in their truth, they needed to do that to get to unconditional love, or they're standing in their truth with the King of Cups because maybe they don't trust unconditional love. Or maybe this King of Cups isn't unconditional love and could be an alcoholic, it's just they're okay right now. Um, then we have the Emperor reversed, who could be an ego death, but also could be someone out of control or just not themselves today, a powerful man who's not who's sick, or that could be a person who passed away as well, but it could be someone out of control abusing their power. And then we have the devil right next to us, so definitely could be someone abusing their power, and it could be a Capricorn or an Aries. And then we have the star reversed coming up as the depressed or the fire signs losing hope. So with the devil and the emperor reversed, you know, they're the, the abusers. And then we have the ones who suffer for it, which are either the victims of the depression card, or you can choose to just be loved no matter what. So those are the choices. So those are the underlying energies coming in for everyone. 
And then we start out with Aries. So Aries has seven of pentacles and then bad health. And this is implementing how you're gonna spend your money, um, but someone may be worried they have to spend all their money on their health issues. If they don't have good coverage, or if it's just something really bad that, you know, they have so many procedures, it costs a lot of money. But there's obviously depression and loss of hope here. So Aries could have bad health. And it's coming up here, going to a peaceful place. So it could have been someone who passed or getting better with an offer of love. But there's deception here. Is it really an offer of love or someone offering you love to get your money after you die because you're not healthy? Okay, so there's kind of a mixed blessing or this is just the new moon. Or this could be early to rise. This could be getting up before the sunrise to offer love, to make peace. Okay. So either way, it could be someone deceiving, so be careful. Again, it's about discernment this weekend. Who's deceiving you in love or who's just off getting up before sunrise to offer you love because they truly love you because they want to take you somewhere and make peace or help you get to the hospital, okay? So someone might be helping someone else out, maybe to help them save money or um, just because they can't because they're too sick to drive. So that's Aries. And we have Leo is the... Queen of Pentacles, and then Toil and Labor. So like I said, this is very Virgo energy. But it's Leo. So it could be someone who's Virgo and Leo, either way. But again, there's depression because they don't like their job. They're toiling away, doing work they don't love, but they're grounded about it, and they don't show their issues at work. And this could be children. Kids back at school, their world upside down, <laughs> right? and turned around so they're a little turned around and not sure what they're scared because they don't know if they can do everything on time right it's getting back to school but it's like the mom is keeping them all grounded you know making sure they they work hard and don't worry everything will be fine if you just you know do what you're supposed to do and don't give up don't worry um but definitely it's feeling like you know the beginning of school like oh we got to this we have the whole year to go it's like kids or the kids are being bad and they're they're um they're being difficult but it's like the leo is keeping their balance they're staying good no matter what they're not going to allow the kids to rock their world or in a good way but they're reversed so this could be someone in need of help you know they come home from school they need help with their homework blah 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 or they want money money, energy, time, and this is someone who's whiny, right? Because emotionally they feel insecure. So it's definitely school stuff coming up here. Work and school. Then we have Sagittarius. Now the kids, those kids could be working too. Like they could be young people working or people at work acting like kids in an incomplete cycle. Maybe they have to overwork like tax season so maybe in some jobs, because it's the beginning of the school year, they have to overwork, like teachers and stuff. Um, and that could definitely be teachers at school with the kids there. But they could be at work, too, where the kid, that, like I said, people at work are acting like little kids. This is Sagittarius. We have the King of Wands and the Coffin. Okay? So it could just, it could be the end of anything. It doesn't have to be a death. But there's definitely depression here. Maybe someone feels like dying. But the King of Wands is upright. He's not showing his depression. Or it's somebody else around them maybe is depressed because someone passed away. Or someone he's worried might pass away because they're really they're not well, but he's not showing it. Or he's just at a service today. So here's the Queen of Wands, and the King of Wands are both upright, but here's fighting, and here's the wounded warrior. So they're both upright, or maybe they have to be upright because they're at a funeral. Maybe they were fighting, but now they're at a place where they can't do that or they're at school. This can also be just kids' events where both are coming, but they're not together anymore. All right, this is definitely someone defensive in a fight. But again, it can just be kids' sports or a quest for, the, for whatever. Expansion, fight, it could be a performance as well. It could be a kid's performance, but there's definitely someone here defensive, whether this is a child or this is the King of Wands, who's also here, and there's a death, so there definitely could be a funeral here. It could be uh, a game, too, where someone got hurt in the game, and was the, but it was the death of the other team, or your team. But either way, there's a King and Queen of Wands, but they're not coming up together. 
So they could be like Division of Duties too, as far as kids right now, if all is well, but there's a funeral involved or a death of something. So one maybe has to take care of all the extra stuff today so the other can go to their funeral, make a presence. Or, you know, you're going to take the kids to the service and you're going to be there with Leo there with two kids who are unhappy to be there. So let's see what we have for earth signs. We have the devil at the top for earth. All right, so tower and devil, not a great combination for Taurus here. Someone with expectations, and this could be them. If, it, if you're not good enough, you get kicked out of the house. Um, that also can just be Scorpio and Capricorn energy involved with Taurus. So let's see what Taurus gets. All right, so this is Taurus. So the devil comes up again for Taurus, reverse. So this can be either detoxing now or the culmination of the freaking out, the chaos, the really dark energies. So be careful um, this weekend, especially earth signs and air signs. It looks like fire signs are depressed, so they're probably just home being depressed. And water signs are in unconditional love. But be careful with that too, that you don't allow someone to suck you in. Just make sure that you're present. But uh, earth and air is a little shaky this weekend between the emperor reversed and the devil cards, okay? So here is not expressing your feelings holding or maybe delays or constant delays in, in, in rehab or breaking an addiction. Um, there's death here or pain or betrayal or, or painful endings. So this could be definitely detoxing, literally drugs or alcohol, right? Not There's too much in pain they can't even express and it can be someone very sick as well or someone going through the dark night to choose the new path at the end, which is really nice. So this is coming up for Taurus. So Taurus can be one or the other. They can be, this all can be the same person who comes out good at the end, or this is someone who's choosing this path because the other person, the more Taurus energy with the sudden events is choosing this path, or the sudden event is Taurus here choosing a path, making a decision. Either way, the devil's involved. So devil upright and reversed is not good because there's a lot to get through. It looks like someone's already through the difficulties. Maybe someone, someone's leaving and choosing a new path and the other one's just starting their journey as well. Or someone had expectations that weren't met, so someone chose another path. But the devil's coming up at the top or two people changed to get, chained together, so there's codependencies, addictions, anything like that. Uh, maybe a wave of that this week. So be careful about that stuff. Don't get sucked into some weird stuff that uh, isn't you, okay? Um, page of Swords reversed and then the Lovers come up for Virgo. Okay, and that can just be negative self-talk. And again, for Virgo, that very much can be the devil of negative self-talk because they're very nerve-based. But we have the Lovers there, which can be literally Lovers maybe the devils because you know you can't you can't like not touch each other you know when you're together that kind of energy or um, it's just negative self-talk about it or you don't know if this person's for real or not or they want to just hurt you or scam you or do something bad to you so it's the page of swords reverse which can be someone spying it can be negative it can be very immature conversation or just immature uh, communication which is online tweets and stuff which can be you know they're so subject to interpretation it's a, an immature way of communicating so let's see what comes up for Virgo why is Virgo the lovers and then the devil at the top and then the page of swords is someone spying on them are they spying all right so we have these three cards here we have the ten of wands we have the eight of pentacles and then the chariot so this has to do with either working out physically, like I was cleaning my house today, very much could be that, but also can be, you know, the burdens, carrying too much burdens or hurting your back. This is like overworking is not working or you're done aligning, so you can now give up and you have the 10 wands, so it's about to drop, that you're done now. Time to make a bold move and travel move or ascend now that everything's aligned. You have all your ducks in a row, everything's aligned, it's time, it's time to go. That's definitely a, a, a message for somebody. 
Let's see what else is coming up there. We have Queen of Pentacles reversed and saving their money or decide not knowing what to do with their money because they're ungrounded right now. Maybe they're waiting for things to happen to know what to do with the money because they don't want to decide on their own. They want to do it together, but they can't do it until the other person shows up or lost money and now they don't have as much left as they thought they had to deal with, okay? We also have here someone making a clear decision. This is getting real, um, gaining clarity on a situation of what we have to work with, right? So maybe didn't know before in a love situation. And this doesn't have to be a lover, although the devil's there. Could also be affection between anyone, affection between you and your children. So the page of swords could be a child who's being kind of mouthy today or being rude and you need to hold your tongue and just be a proper Capricorn as opposed to the devil Capricorn. All right, let's see now. We have, this is Capricorn now. So Capricorn's the Hierophant and change. And the Hierophant's kind of the opposite of that, right? It's like the old, the tradition, the, the things you stick with and don't change. And then we've changed, so that's hard because it's Taurus, they're stubborn. But it's Capricorn Taurus, so it could be someone with both signs in their makeup or Capricorn dealing with a Taurus like that. But we have the, we also have the, the devil at the top there. So why for Capricorn? There's a lot of power there and the devil upright can just be a Capricorn, it doesn't have to be devil energy at all. It can just be a Capricorn and, a, and tradition, commitment to yourself or a marriage or religion. But a change of that. So why? Why did Capricorn change? It definitely could be a new car because there's a car in the picture or a new residence. So this is coming up for Capricorn and this is coming up at the end of the read where the uh, the Queen of Swords is talking to the King the King of Pentacles which is Capricorn energy for me anyway. Um, but she's talking about rest meditation the 5d and holding back passion so that's that third energy um so so this could have to do with you know energy vampires and that kind of stuff and the queen of swords talking or explaining it to a king of, of pentacles which is capricorn energy so that could definitely reference that energy it could be a, a taurus capricorn or it could be someone who's married and the Queen of Swords explaining how it all works with the 5D and the energy exchange. Or it can just be someone who's too tired, they're falling short um, because they're they're cheating themselves with energy. You know, they're allowing other people to take their energy and get drained. And then they don't get enough sleep or they do get enough sleep, but they're sleeping all the time because they're so drained because they have to steal back what other people took from them. And that could be energy or literally intellectual property or things. But again, this is cheating themselves or talking about the third energy. But there needs to be a change. It's like someone talking. And this is someone too who could be running in to, get, to like get in under the wire before it's too late. Running back really quickly. Um, even though they're frazzled or even though maybe they did have um, notions of running in for a one night stand but now they've changed that and realized that um, they would have done the same thing that others did to them and now that they have to steal back so it's just it's, it's you know awakening to things having an epiphany about something but this is change change of the old for Capricorn And the devil waving. There's Capricorn waving. Maybe someone just waving hello from their car, from their house, or a change in residence or car. Then we have Gemini, which is topped by the Emperor reversed. So we have four of pentacles reversed and the journey. So this is very much letting go. It could be someone who passed, like letting go in a peaceful way, this is a beautiful way. But it's also letting go to fix things up, to make amends, to repair. It could be working on a house as well. Um, or working on a path in the garden, literally. Uh, or letting go of ego 
with the emperor reverse. That could be ego death there. Let's see. Or letting go of some money. Mm, and then it could be death and just, you know, giving your money to to um, a public place, perhaps, to a park. So this is Gemini, feeling free. So we have the sun reverse, which is can be drained or sick, can be just draining kids, or got burned, got sunburned, over-radiated, over-exposed, too much attention, and now free from all that. Free from ego out of control. Look, there's both the, all this Leo energy reverse, which is craziness, and then kids, right, reverse. So this is negative talk and ego is involved, and this is someone escaping all that with Gemini. This can be Gemini though too, so it could be they could be either end. This could be a Gemini child for sure. But someone's getting out of it. Then we have Libra is the Three of Swords and the gift. And this could definitely be like love rain on me. It could be just that it's raining outside and it was a gift. It was a blessing in disguise. So blessings in disguise is coming up for sure with this. So let's see what else comes up for Libra. All right, so this is what comes up for Libra. So this is um, not getting attention, not successful. This is bad news or in need of attention or wanting to be under the radar for a reason, not wanting the attention, not wanting that exposure, wanting privacy. The Queen of Wands being at peace with her feelings and emotions, her intuition, and getting truth from it. This is definitely someone getting epiphanies or just being in her loving truth without the need for attention. So her and her gift being her, her abilities, her talents. And these are also coming up. So shedding light on the wake up call. Okay, a call to action. Announcements, waking up the divine masculine, shedding light on it, or this is the masculine. This one's someone he's hermiting and he's he's coming up with his own epiphanies. Or and it's also can be um, Virgo energies and then Queen of Wands is water energies. So there's also Aquarius here. So definitely shedding light. This is very much about reading here in this Libra energy. Also it could just be somebody telling the truth about bad news or the truth as to why they failed, the truth as to why they're not getting attention or just why there's bad news or the truth of why they want to stay under the radar. So they don't like attention because they like their private time, but triumphing in that. Announcements, a final judgment coming in, and then someone shedding light on that. I'll put these back in. There's also the three of, of cups coming up after that, so that could have to do with the three, third party situation, gossip, overindulgences, all that kind of stuff. All right, with the King of Swords, which is the last card in the read today. This could be really verbally abusive or holding back the truth. And that could be an uh, overindulgence as well. Someone who's a chronic liar or just chronically fudges or doesn't tell the truth. So if they don't say it, it's not a lie. All right, so now we have Aquarius is Seven of Swords reversed and Wealthy Man. That's, you know, that's not great energy. This is either somebody being a little sneaky, and it could just be something like, because they want to do a surprise party for someone, or it's someone being sneaky because that's their bad personality, or they're coming clean about some wrongdoing, whether they're meant to or not, it's still coming clean or coming out about it now. But we have the emperor reversed up top, which could be that person. So it could be someone who abused their power and came out, like in the read, because they were caught, not because they volunteered it. All right, so here is the Eight of Swords, the Star card, and then the Two of Pentacles reversed. All right, so we have someone who was in prison, so maybe someone had a prison pass, which just came up before with Pisces, and Aquarius and Pisces are right next to each other, so it could be someone with Pisces and Aquarius in their chart. But someone might have been in prison before, or just imprisoned in their mind, but now healed with all their hopes and dreams and wishes coming true because they learned to break their patterns, right? They learned to drop the facade and be real. 
So this is definitely someone healing from this. They're like a new man. They, they're not this anymore. Or it could just be as simple as someone who, you know, was arrested before, and like I said with Pisces, that people were much nicer and unconditionally loving than they thought they would be, but here we have the emperor reversed. So that could be someone who could be very judgmental um, on a power trip, also could be someone in ego death who's no longer, it could be that person who's no longer like that anymore. So we have the lovers reversed, so there's some kind of breakup or lack of affection or indecision, but here is an announcement now. If there was indecision, it's not anymore. The final announcement is coming out or a breakup is involved. Or an announcement about the need or lack of affection. And again, the hermit shining light on it. So that's connected to Libra and Pisces came up there too. And then we have Aquarius on Aquarius, so double Aquarius. Then we have Cancer, which is the king of cups at the top, and then with page of pentacles reversed and great fortune. So this could be two different extremes. It could be someone truly in need of help or an opportunist. So they have great fortune because they stole from people or someone in need comes into great fortune. Or a child inherited something. So the king of cups could have been the person who passed and left inheritance to this child who's no longer in need, but they were. Or maybe someone who looks like they're in need or help or um, ask, maybe it could be a kid who's constantly asking for money. Maybe they think that they're rich. So this is coming up for cancer. So the magician reversed is insecure, manipulative, not feeling like they have the tools to do something. And then we have overindulgences, gossip, third parties, and then the Knight of Swords. This is not good energy. This is definitely a, this is definitely a thief, an opportunist here, okay? So you gotta be careful because we got the King of Cups up top who could be vulnerable to someone like this. This like opposite end of the scale and the thief or fake person's been coming up all week. So a child who has a lot of money could be a victim of this person. So someone's gotta be careful about that. This can be as simple as someone who's insecure and holding back their tongue about a situation. So that's the best case scenario. Give me one second, it's just my daughter. Hi, I'm online right now. I'll call you back, okay? Okay, so this can, the. Like I said, the best case scenario is just someone who's insecure, a child who's insecure and needing to hold back their tongue about gossip, like someone really gossipy, like slandering people, making up things, lying, or it could, you know, it could just be a kid, like maybe not knowing any better. But this, on the other hand, can be somebody really bad, somebody evil, someone very verbally abusive, manipulative, and overindulgent who wants to overindulge and so they steal from people and abuse people. So, and then the King of Pentacles is coming up with that. So this is either somebody else or somebody he used to be. So again, that could be the wealthy man coming up with Aquarius, which could be Aquarius or somebody else. But this is, a, this is coming up as very good energy. So it would be surprising if this is this person, unless this is someone they used to be, but no longer, or they're two separate people under cancer, and cancer's this person, because that also can just be a kid, like I said, because it's the page of pentacles reversed, which could be this guy's child, who's very manipulative and overindulgent, maybe going out and drinking or going off at the mouth, so it could definitely be a teenager who's a problem, or a younger kid, even. But that's coming up for cancer. There's great fortune there. So whenever there's great fortune, you're gonna attract that energy of people wanting to take from you. We have, so be careful, because we have a really, you know, well-meaning king of cups there, unconditional love, or is he the drinker who's actually trying to scam people and vice versa? So Scorpio has the 10 of cups reversed and unexpected income. So the King of Cups up top could definitely be Scorpio. Okay. 
Okay, so either end of a cycle or emotionally unhappy, um, but all of a sudden gets unexpected income. So let's see here. Scorpio has Scorpio energy here with the tower reversed, either avoiding or in the aftermath of sudden events, then walking away to find himself, to go within, to find the missing piece of the puzzle, whether that's within him or a situation at, uh, in the family. And then we have the King of Swords, but they're in their truth. This is someone definitely on the journey in the aftermath of whatever epiphanies or sudden events they went through with an, a family ending or an emotional ending some unexpected income came in. Maybe because, let's see here. So unexpected income came in. It could be because someone's leaving the job or someone um, who was doing something that's not really in their authentic truth left, so it opened a space for Scorpio to come in to the situation or a breakup. This could be um, indecision as well, but finally a decision was made and someone, this could be a professor at, at work or at school who's shedding light on something about a wake up call or an opportunity to do good work or work with people, maybe even work for the Red Cross. Maybe someone wanting to go off on their own and do this kind of work, like without a partner. Or this could just be um, feeling judged, like in a breakup also. And trying to, and somebody else bringing things to light, in, into line, into alignment, so they don't feel like a victim of the circumstances. That could be too, this could be too, like any of the disastrous events where there's a lot of people who are struggling and need help and someone shedding light on it, okay? Standing up for themselves. And here's the king of, of wands again. So that was with Sagittarius. So Scorpio might be connected to Sag. Or the king of swords is the king of wands or their partners or brothers, something like that. but there's some kind of unexpected income, whether it's because of a, a breakup or a divorce or someone passed or a break of a contract, maybe they're getting money they weren't expecting to get and walking away from something. All right, and then we have Pisces with the chariot and imprisonment. So again, this just can be imprisonment in your mind because this is very powerful, ascension energy as well as traveling, moving, but feeling jailed by it. So if it's not actual prison or somebody else who you know is in prison, it's just feeling jailed by such powerful ascension energies or a move that's just draining or the King of Cups could be overpowering to Pisces. Let's see what's coming up for Pisces. All right, so it's coming up for Pisces. So we have the Six of Pentacles reversed, which was the masculine in the read, the Empress reversed, and then the Ten of Pentacles reversed. All right, this is definitely dysfunctional mother or grandmother energy or aunt, whatever it is, or boss. There's definitely Pentacles involved here. So it could be work or family or family work situation where someone definitely got scammed or robbed or taking advantage of others, but the Empress is not looking good here or she's the one who got robbed. Or the balance, the, the equity between the Empress reversed and the family reversed is not fair. It's not right. It's, there's an imbalance here. Or this is Pisces and these two are one. Or this is Pisces and this is the other person. But this is definitely with the jail. Someone's going to prison for whatever they're doing. This is definitely some kind of... It could even be this person like giving away money that's not hers. It can be as simple as that. Um, even if it's charitable, like it's not hers to give. Or, you know, the person who, who was 
out of control. Like the, the matriarch of the family expects everyone to do what she says. And so if you don't, you know, it's not a balanced relationship. It's ownership. And that's why it's a prison, slave labor. So you got the king of cups up top and then you have this empress reversed. You know, that's like total opposite energies. Or again, it could just be someone sick, but it's very much about money and business stuff and pract practicalities. Could be someone who's sick and all the money was drained from the family, and so then Pisces feels imprisoned by it all and wanting to get away or making a bold move to leave <laughs> or send or travel. All right, so here's two kids involved, possibly, but they're both reversed. This is stubborn, or or it could be, um, this could be disability stuff on strike as well. This, these could be people on strike. Uh, Knight of Cups is definitely not giving love. They're jealous or insincere. This person is refusing to move or work or do anything. It's like if uh, the Empress Reverse isn't going to do it, they're not going to do it either. So then the other person's screwed, so Pisces gets screwed, or maybe people go on strike, but Pisces wants to work, so they're breaking the picket line. Let's see what else is coming up here. So these are coming up too. So healing, forgiving, dark night of the soul, or an actual death. Maybe someone had to go to um, a, a funeral, so they're all unhappy. But it could involve work and a, a difficult work situation where not everybody could go because you know they couldn't stop the business. But someone having an idea or an awakening or somebody with a big head. Okay. So there definitely could be a, a funeral service here. Or an awakening, dark night of the soul. Or death of the ego healing and forgiving and recovering in a practical way and then the king of cups comes up which is at the top of the column all right so unconditional love definitely going through the journey then we have the um the ending cards here the page of cups could be just a friend offering some comfort or love saying hi because it could be a message of love, a new love coming in, a child. And here they are up right now. We have, but this was earlier. So the Empress reversed is new. This was this morning. So we have a mother and child or grandmother and child here. But it doesn't have to be. It could be. This could be her offer of love to someone. And then we have the world, the world at her feet. This could be a sealed divine feminine in her Empress energy offering love. And here is, it could be the same person or separate person offering advice that could definitely be a feminine energy okay or they could be three it could be all one person all four could be a divine feminine or they could be separate people like I said this can be a mother boss aunt but this is a child or an offer of love or message of love or a new love puppy love this could be completion of a cycle um, she could have just had this baby as well and somebody else is, is telling every is announcing the birth of a new child. Okay? Or it's a birth of a new idea, a new love, whatever it is. It's very, very feminine everywhere here. There's no masculine involved. Because the masculine's at the house. <laughs> Alright, so that's your, your read there. I'm gonna pull one more card from what's left in this deck for the keeper deck just to give you some extra energy before we go anything else we need to know from this deck anything else okay so stay occupied this weekend also mature woman with a message of concern and a journey okay so it looks like, you know, there's a lot of just humbling or low-key energy. I would stay to the air to the side of that this weekend. Don't do anything crazy or risky. Um, yeah, something official. And then the main males at the bottom of the deck here at the house with the main female. And some kind of adjudication. All right, so some kind of something official is going on, whether it's a marriage or a divorce or something else about a house maybe buying a new house, and then sudden wealth. 
All right, so those are the energies there. Drink your water, get your rest, be joyful, guys. And be careful this weekend, don't do anything silly. Be authentic to yourself always first, right? And rise and be love. Bye, guys.